a water bearer carried two pots on his shoulder both the pots were tied by a pole he would go to a stream collect water and bring it back to his hut one of the pots had a small crack and so when the water bearer would be bringing the water back from the stream half of the water in the pot would be emptied for two years and this cracked pot was feeling very bad so one day he spoke up to the master and he said that i have actually failed you because i have a cut and because of the cut i am wasting half of the water and you are only getting half of the water with all the effort you are making going to the stream and bringing it back the water bearer said well that may be so but can you see that as i am walking to the stream and coming back there is this path the pot said yes i can see that path so the water bearer said what do you see on the side of the path on which you would be hanging and he said well i see lots of flowers growing and the flowers look beautiful the crack pot said so the water bearer said well that's what i wanted to share with you i knew that you had a crack i knew you had your limitations i knew you had your disabilities but with all your limitations and faults what is the best which you could contribute thinking like that as i would bring you back i also sowed lots of seeds of mustard all along that side of the path on which you would hang and therefore over a period of watering over the last 2 years just see such beautiful fragrant flowers have grown is it not beautiful and if that crack was not there this beauty could not be seen dear friends each one of us have our strengths and weaknesses we may feel morose due to our shortcomings but we should also know that if we are under the shelter and the guidance of a mentor a powerful teacher mentor or guru has the ability to take our faults our shortcomings our misgivings our limitations and convert that into assets dayaya sarvabhuteshu santushtya yena kenava sarvendriya uparshantya va tushyati ashu janardana bhagavatam describes very beautifully three powerful ways by which we can satisfy the lord first by sharing compassion towards all second by experiencing satisfaction and controlling our senses within third actually experiencing the sense control and by actually experiencing the sense control we do not allow the senses to come in contact with the sense objects or sense gratification and in this way overcoming sense gratification overcoming greed experiencing satisfaction and showing compassion towards all and overcoming complacency we experience real joy real satisfaction within and in this way all of our faults could somehow or other be purified and utilized in the service of others Thank you.